What's the matter, Sam, huh? You're a good girl, huh? You're beautiful, darling. I love my Polish girls. The Polish girls are my favorite out of all of them, really. Except for Penelope. Penelope's a sweetheart. The reason why I really, really love Penelope, the buff brahma right there, is because we have apples, and no matter what, like, whatever, like, they could be overrun with apples, and everybody will be sick of them except for her. She loves, loves, loves apples. <clears throat> Yeah, well, I'm trying to make a new Polish breed, and it sounds ridiculous, but I want to mix a Silver Spangled Hamburg with perhaps a Buff Lace Polish, or a Mottled Houdan, or a um, White Crested Black Polish, and hopefully I can mix up the genetics of those two breeds and create a new breed, because Silver Spangled Hamburgs are known, their females are known for being everyday layers, and Polish breeds, I don't know if you know, but they're not quite known for having such a reputation for being a layer. What up, Sam? You want to sit on my lap? What's going on with you? But, <clears throat> yeah, hopefully... Oh, somebody wants to sit on my lap. I think this is Dottie. This is Dottie. She's sitting on my lap now. <laughs> oh, somebody else is trying to hop up and I'm scared him with my phone. I love these girls. These girls are the best. This is why I love the Polish ones, because they want to sit on your lap. They want to be pets. They want to be, you know, like... I hate... I don't like chickens that are just, like, red, you know, Rhode Island Reds and whatnot. They're just... They're mean and they suck. <clears throat> Although these dark brahmas are a little mean to no towards newcomers, but these guys, like I, what I've noticed about the mix between the brahmas and the Polish breeds and everybody else, the Polish ones don't really like they don't enforce the pecking order. These guys enforce the pecking order, but the Polish ones are like they just want to have fun. They they're all about I don't know flapping around and. Is being happy. They, they're my favorite. Be they, they have to be my favorite breed. So, whoa, what's going on with you guys? It wouldn't be a new type of Polish if I were to mix it. It would just be a mix, I suppose. But it would be. Hopefully it would be funky. It would be cool. Somebody, yeah, somebody was trying to do some mating shit to the Smith and Mustache show. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
You trying to come up? If you, you can. If that's what you're looking at. You can come up. You know I love you, Mr. Mustachio. You're such a cutie. You are really, really cute. And my mom at first. Like the Polish ones because they're cute, and not so much the Brahmas because they look like predators and they look evil. And now that they're fat and fluffy, she thinks the Brahmas are the best, and she doesn't quite like the Polish, but whatever. She's whack, anyways. She wanna know cute if it bitter in a whoa, bitter in the tush. Damn straight. <clears throat> Fucking Dottie, she's the cutest. This Sam, my silver spangled Hamburg, he was my free rare exotic chick from Murray McMurray Hatchery, and he's cool as shit. He's cool. I had a couple lame buff Brahmas, but, and he's kind of a dick towards them, but. You know, he settled down now that I got these other roosters who are kind of older than him, and he's discouraged a little bit. He's calmed down a lot. No longer he thinks he's the cock of the walk. They, apparently, they don't kick his ass too much because, like, his feathers, he has most of his, I mean, it doesn't look like he's missing any feathers. She, I got on Craigslist. I got her on Craigslist. And she actually came with him. They couldn't keep him anymore because they were getting their asses kicked by some red rocks, apparently. Look at his bald ass. And that guy was another guy from Craigslist. So I figured, you know, might as well. As long as they're cool. If they're not cool, then they're dinner. What's going on over here? All I can feel is you guys' afros bumping off my head leg. <clears throat> What's going on with you, baby? <clears throat> and around, since like it's been getting dark kind of early now, I let them out around. 5.30, 6 o'clock, because it gets dark around 6.30, because they put themselves to bed, and I don't want them out and wandering too much, because if they're out wandering too much in an animal season, that they're out, like, all day, it just gives them more opportunity to try to snatch one. <clears throat> and I've lost my favorite one so far. My I had a um, buff lace Polish who really, like, who was in love with me, and I loved her. She was She was awesome. She was the best out of, well, I can't say the best. That was her best friend, Mrs. Mustachio's best friend. They were always together. 
And if you saw, like, if you see um, my profile pics, you can see that they were together. Which one I was talking about? She, she was just awesome. Every time I saw her, she welcomed me. She was just, she was a very loving bird. I miss her. Yeah, it's windy. Oh, you dick. You should, oh. I just freaking tried to give him a piece of corn and he bit my finger instead. Motherfucker. You want the corn? What are you biting my bracelet for? <laughs> you girls are weird. I'll let you out later on. See? These ones want to be close to you all the time. They're actually they're actual pets. Some chickens really suck. <laughs> Not pointing out who. But some of them really suck, and some of them are the coolest pets you'll ever have. Oh, my leg fell asleep. <sighs>